What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna stray away from the Honda videos for a little while here. I got some other work to do during this uh, quarantine uh, pandemic thing. So hopefully you're all staying safe during the coronavirus, but cars are still breaking, so they still gotta be fixed. So no rest for us being essential employee and uh, you know, I'm helping people out on the side too. So I got a couple more jobs coming up, but my uncle's truck had a problem. You guys can probably see, um, <laughs> he knew there was a problem right away. He uh, he said he had the trouble moving the vehicle. It wouldn't move right. So um, obviously we got some kind of leak here, big leak. It's a transmission cooler line. So there's a little bucket of what it dripped in my driveway after he dropped it off. But got this thing pulled in. Uh, seems like he almost ran out of fluid. He filled it up a little bit just to get it here. Um, but the main thing is you don't want to run it out of fluid and drive it for a long period of time because you will blow up the trans. Uh, I'm really hoping that we didn't do any damage to the transmission. Um, not really going to know until we change the line, fill it up with some fluid, and take it for a ride and see how it goes, but I'm sure it'll be okay. He didn't really drive on the highway or anything, so we should be good to go. So I'll show you guys what we got to do here. Um, I got everything all sanitized, so hopefully no coronavirus on this truck. I didn't grab the, I didn't sanitize the hood pop, actually. All right, I'm all gloved up here, so we're ready to go. Um, transmission cooler lines are over on this side, and they go up. You can see this guy right here. Let me get a flashlight for you. Uh, yeah, you can see the lines. They're pretty rotted. You got one right here, and the other one is right down there. That one's definitely rotted out. So we are going to be changing both of these lines. He got them. Uh, so all you really got to do is pop this plastic piece off right here, and then you will see there's a clip there. Maybe I'll try to get you guys a closer look. Um, but uh, you should be able to see the clip there. So we're just going to go ahead and pop that out with a pick, we'll grab the end of it and uh, yank that out and I'll show you guys exactly how these clips work. I did a similar video changing transmission cooler lines on a trailblazer and uh, that did pretty well so I'm going to try to do this again and see if we can get some more views and you know see if we can help some people out doing this kind of work. Um, these are common, common to go bad on these vehicles. Um, a lot of times they rust and you know they just start leaking very slowly and uh, you can usually catch them before they get to this point. But if you don't have your vehicle checked out or serviced anywhere, uh, they're not going to catch it. And it may get to this point where they uh, blow up and then you could blow up your transmission just because of a line leaking. So not really worth it. Good thing to keep an eye on. If you see that they're starting to get rusted, it might be a good idea to change them, um, you know, preemptively. But we're going to go ahead and get the other lines out of the truck and uh, see what we're looking at here. Maybe get it checked up and get underneath. So you may or may not have been able to see it, but this is the clip that we're looking for. Did my best to try not to bend it. Oh, I almost dropped it too. Did my best to try not to bend it, but this is what we're looking for. These are the training line clips. Um, these guys will shoot, so you gotta do your best to not let them go flying. But we got this guy off, so the bottom one's gonna be a little tougher to get to, and the bottom is a little bit corroded, but you know we'll see uh, exactly how bad it is down there. And you know, if you need new clips or you feel like these are stretched out, I'll talk to you guys about that later, getting everything seated correctly. Um, you got to make sure that it seats or else, you know, you're going to have a, a line blowout. And then you're definitely going to blow up your transmission. So I got the parts all unboxed here and uh, realizing now that there are three lines. So there's this little one uh, and then there's this one and there's this big one. So basically what happens is the fluid comes out of the transmission. It runs into this cooler. There's a cooler, uh, you know, a transmission cooler right here in the front. So we're going to have to pop the grill off. So I'll show you guys that. Um, not too hard. It's just all these little uh, clips here, which is pretty easy. You just a uh, little flat blade action down here. And, uh, you know, just pop them up. Definitely tough to do one handed, but just get it popped up. And then you can pop the bottom out too. So. Get all those guys out, and then we'll take this upper piece off, and then I'll show you how to do the grill here. It's just, uh, you gotta go in here, uh, and it's like a little twist. Uh, I gotta use a Phillips, actually. Um, yeah, you, you go in here, and you just snap that guy to lift, and it, it snaps like a screw. So there's one, two, three, four of those, and then there's some clips in the end here that you just gotta kinda grab this thing and, and muscle it. 
but uh, I'll show you guys that in a sec. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the grill off. But yeah, essentially it goes into the cooler here and then it goes out of the cooler into the radiator where there's another transmission cooler and it runs through there and then it comes out of there and goes into the trans. So that's where the three lines are from. Uh, thinking it's a towing package that gives it those three lines because you get the additional trans cooling. So uh, yeah, it makes it a little bit more involved, but not too bad. So I'm gonna pop the grill off and I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath. So you can see we're left with more of the same style. So pop these plastic guys off right here. All right, and then we're left with our clips. So this is a, definitely a better angle to show you guys. But uh, let's see if we can get these clips. Um, yep, see so I got it semi-loose there. You can see it's starting to come off. So I'll just kind of work it around here, being gentle. And then we dropped it on the ground. I'm gonna have to find it now. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys underneath to show you what we're working with. You can see the two lines right there. They're all rotted, these guys right here. And they come down together right here next to the bell housing. And they go up and you kind of lose them there over the top of that shield. But uh, they do go all the way up in there. And there's a tough angle to get at, but yeah, I'll try to get you guys a better angle. Let's see, oh, there we go. And that is where they go into the transmission right there. So it looks easier on camera than it actually is. You can see right here is the dipstick for the trans and then it's just above there. Uh, so there's a lower line and an upper line. And uh, yeah, so you gotta know which line is which. And also, it's kinda tough to get these guys out. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to be able to fish them through, but we're going to go ahead and try to get both of those lines off and, uh, you know, take them out. I may end up just cutting it to get the old one out and then uh, to get the new one in. I'm not sure if we're going to have to drop the differential down up front. I'm going to have to see if we need to do that. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get at those lines. They're just the same as the other ones. First thing I'm going to do is pull this shield off. I think there's two... Um, they look like 10 millimeter bolts there, so I'm going to take those two 10s off and see once that shield's out of the way if we can get a better angle on it. Um, yeah, just got to try to get my arm up in there and uh, pop them off. I can see already one of the plastic clips is broken on there, um, which is, you know, it's all rotted and swollen. So I hope that the fittings on the transmission aren't too messed up, um, but uh, I guess we'll just have to see. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I think I have the light positioned in the best possible way now for me to get a good shot. Um, those are the lines we're looking at. You can see the plastic clip. I'll try to use this as a pointer. Right there is our plastic clip. This one's actually broken. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get off. Yep, I already popped that guy off. Now I'm just gonna have to use a pick to get at the other one. And so it's it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of a feel thing. Um, let's see if you can see the the uh, clip on there. You'll probably be able to see it. it's shiny. I can't see it on the little GoPro screen, but we got to get that guy off. So I'm gonna use a pick like I did up front. But it's just about getting your arms in there in the correct way, and getting the pick on the correct side. Um, it's gonna take some work, but we'll eventually get these lines popped off, hopefully. Alright, so I think the best angle is definitely right where I was going from. I used my left hand here to go up with the pick. And just kind of in this fashion, I was able to pick from the front of the vehicle to the back and grab the corner of the clip, just get it pried up a little bit. And then once you can get a little hole there, you get it to hold itself, you can see the clips pop. Stick your pick in that hole and then use that to work it all the way around and it'll pop off and it'll probably fall somewhere on top of the trans here. Uh, this this big old uh, servo or uh, accumulator, whatever this big guy is right here on the side of the trans, uh, it's kind of back behind there. There's like a big flat spot on top of the trans. Um, if you need to know, I mean, you could look up a picture of a 4060, but 
on the back here, there's a big flat spot, and that's where it's going to fall. So you can just feel around with it, for it with your fingers. So I got both of those clips out. So both of these lines should just pop right out now, and I'm just going to trace the lines back and see see about how I want to get them out. And whichever way I end up getting them out, I think that's the best way to put the new lines in. So we're going to go ahead and see which way they come out. All right, so I got the lines out, uh, and this is where uh, you know things are about halfway there. So. What we have to do now is obviously put the clips onto the transmission. So the fittings on the trans are just like the ones on this auxiliary cooler here and the ones on the back of the radiator. They're all the same, this style right here. So you gotta kinda take this guy and snap it in to here. And you're gonna see that it's only gonna go a certain way. You can't just uh, you know stick one of the ends in. You gotta kinda spread it wide in between the two gaps and have the two tangs on either end of the gap so that when it clips it'll go one end in this one one end in that one and then you'll have this that third little uh, divot right here will stick in as well so you got those three little clips so you gotta snap that in first and then once you snap that in uh, when you go to push the line in you'll see there's a little edge on these lines and that little edge right there is what pushes past that clip and once it goes past it it can't come out it's set up in such a way that it's it's beveled. You can see it's uh, it'll only slide in and then not out. So that's why we have to remove those clips first before we can pop out our lines. So they work in reverse. And then once you put this on, then those clips can't pop off. It's a safety. Um, and so these little plastic things right here are important because they keep the clips from popping out and this from popping out as well. So this is like a little safety. And uh, if this guy doesn't go on, you know that your clip is probably too loose and therefore you either have to bend it in or get a new clip because if this guy doesn't fit on there good then you know there's a problem because you definitely need these guys so don't try to cheat it and not use them take the clip back out again and pinch it in and then put it back on just to make sure it fits tight you could do that preemptively by squeezing them a little bit but don't do it too much because you know you don't want it to be too small because then you won't be able to get it on but if you notice one of them is wider then go ahead and squeeze it in a little bit but anyway we got these guys on so you can see they're all clipped in here, go in nicely. So we're ready to put our lines in. I just got to do the two on the transmission. And then we, uh, I also have to do the two on the cooler over here, but I might wait until the car's back on the ground because it's pretty jacked up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the two on the trans and then we'll see if we can get these lines routed. I am probably going to have to lower the front diff. There's a couple of uh, larger bolts there, seven eighths or something like that that I'm gonna take out and uh, we'll show you how to do that. All right guys, so uh, this is not an easy job by any means. Uh, fitting the lines in is always the hardest part. Um, it's just a matter of which way do you get it going. And I know it's tough, it's much easier with a lift, but I don't have a lift at home obviously. So, you know, it's tough. It, the higher you jack the vehicle, the easier it is because you can use that to spin the lines and because you gotta send them in and twist them. The way I ended up doing it was I did the longer line first. So when you get your line kit, there's three lines. The longest line is the line that goes to the top of the trans. And that line that goes to the top of the trans goes to this side of the cooler. And the other one goes to the bottom of the cooler. Uh, the other line from the trans, the one on the bottom. In case you guys get it confused, uh, you can use this as reference. The longer one goes to here. The lower one goes to the bottom of the, of the radiator. Uh, the upper part of the radiator goes to this one. So that's where all the lines go. Um, it's not too, too bad. Once you figure out how to get it going and how to get it through. Um, I did the longer line first. That line was super easy. Uh, I went in from the front underneath here. I went in this way and it, ma it was made harder because of this uh, snow plow thing here. But I went in from the front and got it in. And the other one I had a lot of trouble with. I tried it from a bunch of different ways, but I ended up sending it the rubber side first from the transmission end first and shot it over and I did end up loosening those things on the axle to drop the axle down. It only really gave me a half of an inch. I'm not sure if it helped that much but you'll see right here is, uh, well it's very dark, but you'll see uh, the axle right over here and there's two 22 millimeter nuts right here and here. Uh, I'll see if I can brighten this up, but yeah, those guys right there, and then you can kind of pry this down with a pry bar, 
and it gives you a little bit more room to route the lines over the top here. You can see the sh lines shining in there and all the way up through there. So right now I'm just going to throw the clips on, uh, little plastic clips to keep the lines clipped together. Make sure they're not rubbing on anything. Make sure that the hoses are not kinked. Uh, had an unfortunate incident with that in the past. Kinked line on a tranny cooler line. Not good. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't recommend it. You'll uh, you'll end up doing a tranny rebuild. So anyway, don't mess that up, guys. Uh, don't mess these lines up because you'll blow up your car. But it's not that hard. And if you do it, there's safety like those clips, and there's precautions that you can take. Make sure that everything comes out correct, and you'll be all set in the end. So all I got to do to this thing now is button everything up and put some tranny fluid in it and then uh, take it for a ride and see how it drives and hopefully he didn't end up doing any damage so I'll uh, check back with you guys after I've uh, got it all set uh, and back together I'm gonna clip the lines and you know get everything finalized put the axles and nuts back in I'm gonna use a training fluid that he had just to top this thing off you're gonna need a funnel like this but uh, you know this I know this thing's gonna take quite a bit usually you would you would check it first, but you know you check it running. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna add some. I know he leaked out quite a bit on the way here. I'm sure it'll take all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little more, and that's that's probably good for now. I'm gonna see, um, I'm gonna see what the level looks like. It's got to be all the way warmed up though. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I am just going to move it out of the garage tonight. I'm sure it's got enough fluid and uh, I'm going to pull my car back in. So that's going to be it. Got the grill on. We got it back on the ground. We got all the clips on. I threw on the plastic clips that hold the lines together. Made sure nothing was rubbing or touching, which I'm going to verify right now. And everything looks really good. Yeah, it looks awesome. I'm really pumped. This job came out really mint. It was a bit of a pain to try to get that shorter line in that goes uh, to the cooler, but uh, to the radiator rather. But you know what? In the end, got it done and it came out really nice. Sometimes you end up tweaking the lines a little bit. It's okay as long as you don't kink them and as long as the rubber hoses aren't kinked. And you can always tweak the lines back in the end to try to get them to snap into the transmission if you have trouble. But for the most part, that's the job. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, definitely let me know. It's not my first time doing this, but every time I do it, I get a little bit better and I learn a little bit more. Uh, the only thing I struggle with is putting those lines through. So anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully I helped. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. I post repair videos like this, but I also post videos of the, my project car for the most part. But uh, I like to get these on there too because, you know, people like to watch these um, more so than the Honda videos. And uh, they tend to make me a little bit of uh, money. I did end up getting some transmission fluid in my eye. And that was not fun. I recommend you wear safety glasses while doing this, um, especially if you have leaking transmission fluid everywhere like this one did. It just was all over the place under there, the whole undercarriage. So kind of dangerous game, but uh, I washed it out really good, and uh, my eye feels really fine right now, thankfully. So, yeah, be safe, guys, and uh, peace.